So I'm just about to start doing some teaching. I have a student in Athens, then a guy in London, a guy in Edinburgh, and then someone's coming to the studio for a lesson. I've been on the phone this afternoon to the studio uh, where we're doing Jazz Vespers, and it's not great news. Well, it is and it isn't. And it's kind of got me in a, a bit of a quandary with it in that the engineer is advising us, basically the studio we wanted has been booked out for a whole week and because I only want it for a day, they've offered me their big main room, but the engineer's come back and said he thinks it might be too boomy and I kind of agree with him. And it's kind of, well, the kind of, let me show you the studio they've offered me, or they're gonna offer me, and here we go. So this is kind of the studio they're offering me. Which is really good, and Lee, the engineer, says it's really cool and will fit exactly what I want it to do. I just kind of... I want it to sound good, that's the most important thing about a music recording. But I'd like it to look good as well, because I'm going to show you guys on the vlog. And I don't know, that studio, I don't know, I'm just kind of a bit out. I kind of was thinking we were obviously going to get this other studio. So it's kind of thrown a bit me off kilter slightly, but I'm learning to deal with these kind of things because in the past it would have thrown me all night and I'd have been on my mind all the time. And maybe you have those things, I don't just mean musically, you can get these things that disrupt the way you're wanting your day to be. And they're outside of your control. And I was talking in another vlog about the inner game of music. And this is kind of one of those things. It's an exterior thing. I can't control how these other people are going to deal with it. I can only control, and you can only control, your reaction to it. So I'm learning just to kind of back out of it. But there's only kind of so much rejection in a day you can cope with. So I have to G myself up to go hustling for gigs or sales or students and dealing with these kind of things because that kind of depth of my um, being where I find the music needs accessing for music and to be creative and whilst a lot of the time I can just go see you, I need to maintain, shall we say, that sensitivity in order to be a good musician. So it's kind of learning when to turn the sensitivity tap on and when to turn it off and bringing up that tough exterior. So I'm trying to think what I was getting at here. Yeah, I'm trying to go a bit more with the flow. So I'm going to crack on with teaching now. I've got to make a Skype call in three minutes and I'll see you guys tomorrow.